It fills me with pride and honor to be serving as the managing director at a time when Volkswagen of South Africa celebrates its 70th anniversary since the first Beetle rolled off the assembly line here at our Karicha production factory on 31st August 1951. From humble beginnings as an assembler and distributor of vehicles and parts in South Africa, under the trading name of South African Motor Assemblers and Distributors, SAMAT, Volkswagen has grown to become one of the most admired automotive manufacturers and leaders in the passenger car market in South Africa. Volkswagen is the largest German investor in South Africa with over 4,000 employees. We are also the largest private sector investor and employer in the Eastern Cape. The history and success of Volkswagen has made the company more South African than German in the eyes of our customers. Our ethos is to build and sell German engineered cars with South African pride and heart. For the past 70 years, Volkswagen has lived up to its name of being a people's car by building and selling cars for the people of Nzanzi. Our cars have truly democratized mobility for South Africans. The democratization began with the iconic Beetle, followed by the venerable Mark I Golf that we later morphed into City Golf, the People Mover, Combi, and most recently the Vivo. Until June 2002, when the last T3 Combi left the production line in Karicha, Volkswagen of South Africa assembled an array of Audi, Volkswagen commercial vehicles and Volkswagen passenger brand models for the local market and a few models for export. Our Karicha plant has built over 4 million vehicles since it was founded in 1948 by Samad. This number includes other brands such as Studebaker in Austin that did not belong to the Volkswagen Group. Examples of these models are on display at our auto museum. Since then, our production factory has been modernized into a one-model plant, assembling world-class cars for local and international customers. About 75% of the vehicles produced at our plant are exported to international markets like the UK, Japan and Australia. The investment by the group over the years has raised the status of the Kareja plant into a respected world-class factory within the Volkswagen production network. Our company owes its success to a generation of past and present employees who worked and continue to work tirelessly to nurture and entrench the values of our brand in the local market. Our employees have always been at the center of what we do and as such, we put them first. Volkswagen has pioneered a number of firsts for its employees even during the darkest period of South Africa when it was unthinkable and unlawful to do so. In the 70s, we were the first automotive company to recognize organized labor and allow our employees to elect shop stewards. Then in the 80s, Volkswagen was the first company to train, qualify and employ black artisans. The well-being of the communities where our employees live has been important to our existence and operations in the Nelson Mandela Bay Metro, where our factory is based. Through the Volkswagen Community Trust, which we established with our employees in the late 80s, we have invested millions of rands in CSI programs focusing on community development, education and youth development. We are grateful to our strong dealer network, which has been the backbone of our sales success. The contribution of our dealers in delighting and servicing the needs of our customers cannot be overemphasized. Volkswagen of South Africa has significantly transformed since the first Beetle rode off the production line 70 years ago. Therefore, we have many reasons to celebrate our achievements and this milestone. Volkswagen of South Africa is the passenger car leader in the local market and enjoys one of the highest market shares in the world of the Volkswagen brand. Our Karicha factory is the sole producer of Polo GTI and Polos for the right-hand drive international markets. We are progressively expanding the Volkswagen brand into the sub-Saharan African region, which is the last frontier for the development of the automotive industry. Volkswagen remains committed to South Africa and to the future of the local automotive industry. We acknowledge that the transformation of the global automotive industry from internal combustion engines to battery electric vehicles poses a threat to the future of the local industry, particularly production. We will continue to work with government through our industry body, NAMSA, to prepare the local industry and find feasible solutions to the inevitable change. I wish to thank our shareholder, Volkswagen Group, employees, dealers, customers, suppliers, and other strategic partners who have positively contributed to the success of our company in the past seven decades. I am confident that they will continue supporting our purpose to provide sustainable mobility across Africa.